And welcome back to Chop It Like It's Hot, the most fun you'll have in a kitchen all day. Hi. <laughs> Before we get started, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, we're the Upshaws, and this is the cooking, the budget cooking challenge collab that we are doing with several other people from our little Twitter group. And basically the idea is you've got $20 uh, to cook a three course meal. So the challenge is to cook uh, appetizer, main course, and dessert all with only $20. You're allowed to use like spices, things like that, that you already have without having to go out and buy them. But you can't buy, you can't be like, oh, well, I have ground turkey in the freezer. I'm just going to use that and save the money. Which I think is cheating because we budget a lot and we already had a lot of these ingredients. <laughs> so I feel like we could have saved our money on for more big ticket items, but whatever. So, so anyway, I kept her straight. We didn't cheat. So, <laughs> so we purchased our groceries this weekend and they are laid before us. And we're going to get started. I'm starving for this meal. I've been thinking about it all week. We're having a taco ring. Um... We have nachos for the appetizer, beef nachos for the appetizer. Nope. Turkey. Turkey. Nachos. Turkey. Ground turkey. Um, ground turkey nachos for the appetizer, a taco ring for the main course, and for dessert we're going to have mini cupcake um, apple pies. So little apple mini pies. Mini apple pies. Yeah. Not mini, a, mini apple pies <laughs> baked in a cupcake tin. So, you'll get to see that later. So, uh, are we ready to get started? I don't know. You need to tell them some more things? Are you ready to chop it like it's hot? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah has so neatly laid out all of our ingredients. Sarah is browning the turkey, the ground turkey. About the only way I know to cook meat. <laughs> safely without giving anyone the food poisoning so cost for the meat five dollars okay it's time for the taco seasoning which costs one dollar You'll notice that turkey browns lighter, which can be off-putting to some, but we've been eating ground turkey for a long time, so we're used to it. While Sarah's finishing up browning the meat, I'm putting the chips on the pan. Now it's time to put some of the browned turkey onto the chips for our appetizer nachos. I'm not gonna use a lot. Cause this one pound of turkey didn't make very much in I don't want like. a lot of turkey. But it'll be enough for, for, for us, for two people. Now adding the cheese to our nachos. All right. Oven they, set at 250. They go in. And there's nothing really special about this. They're just going in to melt the cheese, basically. So it shouldn't take just a couple of minutes, and that'll be ready. While that is, uh, the cheese is melting on those, it's time for phase two. We can go, get, go ahead and get started on the main course, which is the taco ring. And we use crescent rolls. So I'll show you. We lay them out on the pan. We put the... Um, turkey down the middle roll it up make it into a ring and then put it in the oven that way we'll show you how that works so i like to use the uh, big and buttery because that's just better but i don't use the flaky kind of, of crescent rolls because flaky uh, they tend to peel funny while they're in their dough state so i just tend to avoid that but what i do is you take each triangle and you lay it on the pan and you kind of Try to show you this. Sorry. You crimp the edges together. So you kind of bond that dough a little bit. They're still going to split a little, 
And if you have any left, you kind of fold it under. So honey, question. Answer. Couldn't you just roll it out just like it is since it's already connected and just pinch it together? You could, but that's not how I do it. Because, because you, like it's not gonna hold as well. So if you overlap, <clears throat> if you're overlapping it, you got more dough to work with. Hmm. So we're gonna pinch, pinch it all together. Take this end, fold it under, kind of helps make that bond. Take this end, fold it under. And we're gonna do that all the way down for the dough part. So we forgot to tell you the costs of our ingredients. Got a little too hasty. So the chips were $1.50, we had a coupon for that. The crescent rolls were $2, the cheese was $2, and that's all we've used so far. Now we add, we add the cheese. Did we ever give them the price for the cheese? I think so. How much was it? I don't remember. I have to look at my. The bag is blocking the meal, honey. Sorry, sorry. So we just put some cheese down the middle. Don't use it all because we're going to put some cheese on the outside too. But you can be generous. Now for the fun part you got to roll it. Roll a pinch. And if it breaks apart while it's baking, that's okay. We're actually going to attempt to roll this again uh, so that the seam is on the bottom. But it can split, and that's not a big deal. Here's you have our, a lot of our crescent roll down here. Well, take end. it off because you need to put a bandage on something. Yeah, I'll use that as a bandage. That's a good idea, baby. You know me too well. <laughs> You've made this a lot. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, the part that makes it the ring is like so. Yep, we got a couple of a couple of places that need a band-aid. It's like the Frankenstein of dinner. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it tastes good. It's gonna taste good. I'm just gonna roll that up. <laughs> Bake it right next to it. All right. Ready in the to, oven. Ready to go. While that's baking, we get to enjoy our appetizer. Salsa, $3. We are eating it out of one of Gabriel's bowls. <laughs> like any true parent like any would. any true parent would. Am I the only one in cooking shows that it makes me uncomfortable when you watch the host eat it and they have to like make good? Do it. Exclamation. Show us what you're talking no. about. Show us and what you're talking about. And it just makes me uncomfortable. Cause it's like, is it really good or are you just doing that for the camera? Show us what you're talking about. No, I'm not going to. Mmm, <laughs> really good. Those are really good potato chips. Mmm. <laughs> Dinner's baking, which forgot to mention, you just uh, bake it according to the crescent roll instructions. And watch it so it yeah. doesn't burn. Pay attention to it. Meat's already cooked, so. Now we're gonna chop. Like it's hot. Chop it like it's hot. Chop it like it's hot. <laughs> Sarah's cutting up tomatoes for dinner and I'm going to chop up the apple. I feel like that, I'm doing this the worst way possible. That we're gonna use for dessert. Why are you so <laughs> Cause I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> How to cube a tomato. <laughs> Sarah's sawing the tomato. She doesn't have any idea how to cube a tomato. I started to slice it and then my brain just couldn't go anywhere from there. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> it's a good thing you're pretty and attracted a husband that knows how to slice tomatoes for you. When have you ever sliced a tomato for me? 
Okay, so the next part of this is the dessert while that's finished. That's actually cooling. This doesn't take very long. They take the rest of the crescent rolls that we didn't use in the thing. Take the one triangle and you ball it up into a little ball. And you kind of pat it flat. And then stick it into your... Greased muffin tin. Greased muffin tin. Apples in the mixing bowl, doing a fourth a cup of sugar, one teaspoon, ground cinnamon. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Rachel Ray, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> one eighth of ground nutmeg and two. Flour. What about the butter? You don't have butter. Butter doesn't go in this recipe. Why do we get it out? Because I was thinking about something else. Oh. <laughs> teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> That's <laughs> dead. Teaspoon down. <laughs> All right. Mix. So it's all very well covered. Dessert is out of the oven. I just gotta let it cool. And here's our finished meal. We have our nachos, appetizer, taco ring. Topping for, options. Yeah, with topping options in the middle for the main course. And our dessert, mini apple pies. So we've completed our super healthy, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan meal. <laughs> Sarcasm, right? Sarah said she had to start with a joke. <laughs> because all of that is in this meal. The only qualification for this meal is it came in under $20. So, just to recap, taco, uh, the turkey, the ground turkey was $5, taco seasoning was $1, the chips were $1.50, salsa was $3, the crescent rolls were $2, the cheese was $2, tomatoes were $1.50, which actually tomato, because we only used one, was a dollar fifty. The uh, lettuce was two dollars, and we used one apple, which cost us a dollar. It was like ninety-eight cents a pound, and I bought one. So when the onions try to get at you, chop it like it's hot. <laughs> Tomatoes catch an attitude. Chop it like it's hot. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Oh. That added up to $19. Oh, yes. It added up to $19. <laughs> we had a dollar to spare. I asked Sarah, I said, you want to throw in an avocado? We've got a dollar. She said, no, those are for the baby. So I don't get to have avocado with my dinner. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to look in the description for other the link to the playlist and links to other channels that are participating in this, uh, this collaboration. It was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. Uh, so we hope you guys did too. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.